Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Spank the Monkey back again with another video of Singles Bojingles. Right, so for those who have just uh, come in and, and joined the channel, uh, so Singles Bojingles is, uh, I guess, my videos where I just, you know, open some singles that I pick up from resellers locally. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy this one. All right, so I have two sets of singles that I picked up from local sellers. Why don't we get to um, this one first? Okay, so let me put this guy aside. Let's see what goodies we got in this uh, particular set. Okay, so we have some chaff here, and I believe some chaff here as well. Okay, so let's put that aside. Let's go to the first one. We have a Relic of Legend. So this is an artifact, pay three, tap for any um, uh, mana of any color and then you can tap an untapped legendary creature you control you can add one mana of any color so good for commander you can use this to tap out your commander or any other legendary uh, creature so that's pretty good um, this is seeing I think a lot of um, more play now since it first came out in Dominary United next one we have a monster manual so this is a nice foil um, borderless version it's uh, very beautiful looking let's just take it out since I will resleeve this anyways check that out so this is uh, already in my um, Hunt Laza deck which is the dinosaur deck but I will be just you know upgrading it with some bling uh, specific to this foil version so very nice next up we have an illustrious wonder glyph so this is another foil borderless version um, again just to bling out my decks I do have an Boss gear deck, um, the uh, Boros uh, artifact matters commander. So I have this in here and we'll upgrade that as well. So let me put that over there. So two nice borderless versions. Next up we have a Vexilus Praetor. So this is a warrior for the cast white. Um, and it's coming from the um, Warhammer 40k um, uh, commander decks. And basically it's um, Commanders you control have protection from everything. So this is pretty good to protect the commander, cast flash, and vigilance. 3-4, so it's a decent body. Let's put that over here. Okay. Next up, we have a fourth earling. So this is from the Lord of the Rings, the commander set. Um, it's a Boros and X. It's a sorcery create X22 red human knight creature tokens with trample and haste. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to one or more players, this turn you become the Monarch. So um, I do have uh, um, a couple of decks that could use this and actually this is a pretty high value card. I think this is um, going at around 20 US thereabouts now. So good pickup for me, this add to the collection and we'll use this to upgrade um, one of my commander decks. Not sure which one though. Um, yeah, so, so probably my human deck, uh, which is uh, Jarena, uh, which is coming from the pre-con of C20. Okay, so let's put that over there. Next up, we have a Permission Denied. So, uh-uh-uh, borderless foil version. Um, don't really have much use for this, but this goes into the collection. I've been collecting some of the Jurassic Park cards because I'm a big fan of the IP. Um, so glad to have been able to get a foil borderless version of that. And I just love the scene. Uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. All right, last two cards. We have Amzu Swarms Hunger. So this is coming from the Cluedo, um, I, I suppose, set, uh, where there are some unique cards for the Cluedo Ravnica remastered version. Um, so it's a five to cast legendary insect shaman uh, with power tops of 3-3 and flying in Menace. Other insects you control have Menace. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, you may create a 1-1 black and green insect creature token. Then put the number of 1-1 counters on it equal to the greatest mana value among those cards. Do this only once each turn. So this is actually pretty cool. It's an insect um, and um, you know there, I, I do have, um, gosh, what's the name of that uh, pre-con? Um, uh, which is also uh, Golgari from C20. Uh, so this one allows you to create insect creature tokens and then add counters um, when you have cards leaving your graveyard. So if you recur them or exile them out of your graveyard, then you can get some value from that. 
Um, I think this will be going into my Dina um, Soul Steeper um, deck, uh, which is an aristocrat deck. And by creating, you know, more insect creature tokens and killing them off, uh, then I can ping my opponents um, while gaining life and removing life from my opponents. All right, last card from this seller. Okay, we have a um, borderless Helm's Deep, which is Shinka, the Blood Soak Keep, Legendary Land, tap for red. Then you can pay one red, tap it, target legendary creature gains for a strike at the end of turn. So this one I just got. I know that Shinka is is um, one of those rare sort of lands, not too much utility, which taps for red. However, uh, this will be going into my, um, oh gosh, what's the name of that uh, deck? The Legends something deck with um, the Hada. Um, which is Legendary Matters um, Commander. So this is just another Legendary land that I can uh, sort of um, um, use for that deck, whether we cheat it in through um, the Hadas, uh, um, um, the Planeswalker um, uh, ability to, to um, pick up um, Legendaries from, you know, from the top of your deck uh, and, you know, be able to play a land because they're um, one of the big things there is that you should have legendary lands so that you can pick them up and play them so you're not mad screwed. So this is pretty cool. Okay. All right, so we're done with the first set of cards from one of the sellers. Now we have another um, set of cards here that I will be opening. Uh, let's see if we get um, cards of the same level of quality. I, I don't seem to recall anymore what these are, but let's see, okay. I think there's some chaff here that we shall just put away, okay? And so let's just go through the chaff very quickly before we go through the business end of the cards. Okay, we have Devonant Healer from, I think the original Time Spiral. Okay, we have a Skyreach Manta, five to cast artifact creature with Sunburst, zero, zero. Okay, Soar from, what is this? Uh, alliances, maybe? I don't know, no, not alliances. Um, I forget now which one that is. Anaba Shaman, okay, classic card there. Glass Asp, okay, from Time Spiral also. Notion Rain from the recent Murders at Markov Manor. Midnight Haunting, um, I think it's from the commander of, is it uh, All Will Be One? Create two, one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Eel Umbra, Serviceable, yeah. Uh, seismic Montresor from LCI and Disturbed Slumber also from LCI. So, a bunch of comments there. All right, so let's get to the business end of this. Um, let's pick up the first one, which is a Strongback. Okay, Strongback Foil. This is a enchantment aura, three to cast, enchant creature. Equip abilities you activate, the target enchant creature costs three less to activate. Or spells you cast a target enchant creature costs three less to cast, and enchant creature gets two two for each R equipment attached to it. So this is gonna go good for uh, a Voltron commander, which like I do have you uh, Galea and Thrun Breaker of Silence. So this uh, is a nice uh, upgrade to that. Uh, so foil version coming from the Fallout commander um, cards. All right, next up we have a Bighorn Rancher. So it's also another foil. Five to cast Human Ranger with Vigilance. Um, tap, uh, add amount of green equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. So it's like a Silvala, I think. Uh, sacrifice Bighorn Ranger, you gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. So this is pretty good. I think this is a pretty good card. So definitely will be able to use that in one of my uh, decks. Okay, next we have um, here we have Almost perfect. So this is also from the um, Fallout Commander, um, and it's in the Surge Foil treatment. Um, so six to cast Enchant Aura. Um, enchant creature. Enchant creature has base power toughness nine ten and has indestructible. So pretty pretty strong. Again, this could go well with my Galea deck. All right, next we have a Trans Guild Courier. Um, this is an artifact golem for the cast and Trans Guild Courier is all colors. So three, three, power and toughness. So I just picked this up 
to add to the collection. I don't think I've, I have this yet anywhere, but I was just thinking that, you know, if, if I have a five color um, deck or maybe an artifact um, uh, creature uh, deck, then, then maybe I can use this somehow. Okay, next up we have a Varix Bladewing. So this is a legendary dragon uh, creature for the cast with kicker three and flying when this enters the battlefield. If it was kicked, create a great Karox Blade Wing, a legendary 4 4 red dragon creature token with flying. So, yeah, this is a mythic uh, for the cast, and I think this is from the. Hmm, what. What, uh, what is this? SCD. So, yeah. One of the more recent commanders. Okay. So, we'll put that away over here. It's a mythic. Um, next, we have a Blight Herder. So this is OG, oh, what is this? A pre-release foil, a launch foil, five to cast Eldrazi Processor, four or five. When you cast Blight Herder, you may put two cards from your opponent's own from exile into their own graveyard. If you do put three one one colorless Eldrazi Scion creature tokens on the battlefield, they have sacrifice creature, add one to your mana pool. So this is gonna go well uh, with my Eldrazi uh, deck. Um, I do have one from the Commander Masters um, Commander uh, sets. So this is just a good upgrade uh, to that. And next up we have another Mythic, and this time it would be Bailoth Baratil Entertainers. So this is from the Commander Legends uh, Battle at Baldur's Gate um, set. And I think this is from the Commander probably. So it's a 5 to cast Elf Shaman, 2-5, creatures your opponent's control with power less than Bailoth Baratil's power are goaded. Whenever a goaded uh, attacking or a black creature dies, you create a treasure token and then choose a background. So I, I picked this up because um, I realized that uh, I would love to, to, to create a um, goad-based deck. Um, and I have picked up a couple of nice cards recently. Um, if, you, if you see some of the other Singles Go Jingles episodes, I've picked up some cards that have gold in it as well, like Bothersome Closet, uh, so, and, which is interestingly coming from the same set. So uh, yeah, I think this might be the commander for that particular set. Pretty cool pickup. Um, I think there's something in the back here. So let me put this away. Um, foil. Yeah, let's put the foil here. Okay, and then we have a Plaza Sun favorite. So this is a borderless version of uh, the Commander um, from the recent LCI set. I do have this. It is just a upgrade to that face Commander that I'm using. So yeah, pretty good. And then last, um, we have, okay, here, a foil version of Kogla and Yadaro, which again um, would be part of my... Uh, Pantlaza deck. As you can see, it's a dinosaur. Um, so just picked up a foil to, to add some bling. Although I have to say, the foiling of this is not good. I mean, maybe the regular version is better because you can, it's just totally washed out. What is going on there? Oh gosh. Okay, so this might not have been a good pickup. I mean, it's flashy and all, but you can't even see anything. You can't even see... Uh, you know, the, the the ape or the dinosaur turtle. Yeah. Okay. And then last but not least would be... All right. This is Danny Pink. It's a borderless version. Um, for the cast, legendary creature, human soldier, advisor. Uh, it has mentor. Not sure what that does, but I think it uh, adds counters. It, I think something, something attacks or comes in with less power. Uh, so creatures you control have one or more counters are put on this creature for the first time each turn. Draw a card. So the reason I picked this up is uh, um, I will be adding this to one of my decks where it's going to be a counters deck. So, um, well, specifically the um, the Merfolk deck from the uh, LCI. While this is not Merfolk, but this is pretty powerful if you put it um, in that particular deck because as you um, explore and be able to put counters um, on creatures, then you can just keep drawing cards, right? And, and whenever you attack, all the merfolk um, that attack, you would be able to um, explore. And you're talking about counters there, so you'll be drawing so many cards with this with this card. So yeah, um, okay, this is a pretty good set of cards that we've picked up for singles, both jingles. Um, 
I'm pretty bummed out about this Kogla and Yudaro though. I, the, the foiling there is absolutely horrible. I've never seen anything as bad as this. Like there's nothing you can see there. It's just a dark, you know, just a dark shape. Uh, you lose any of the definition there. You can't even see the face, just the silhouette. But yeah, too bad. All right, I hope you enjoyed this um, episode of Singles Bo Jingles, and maybe I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, this is just uh, tokens. Uh, so take care, guys. Uh, enjoy the break. Bye bye.